that you guys are married and you do this <laughs> together and you just, you just clean up. And we never house. fight, we never no, argue. Not once. Yeah. Not <laughs> we agree on everything. Hey, <laughs> how did you guys get started doing what you're doing? Well, actually, I got sick from my home. You did? Yes, I got sick from a newly remodeled home. You've heard of off-gassing. Yeah. Off-gassing of chemicals. Yeah. That's when products are new, new okay. home smell. That's basically chemicals off gassing and so oh I moved into this new God. yeah I, moved, I thought I was healthy before that I moved into a new home and so I started exciting. becoming so beautiful yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly I was like yay <laughs> it's perfect <laughs> right clean no way, <laughs> smell of VOCs well, how sick what kind of sick did I you got get? very sick I actually went to about 12 different doctors Whoa. I mean every kind of doctor trying to find out what was wrong and they were just loading me up with all kinds of medications and drugs and it wasn't helping and I realized it happened after I moved in there so I started researching and that led us to what we do today which That's is right. help other people become healthy because we spend 90% of our time indoors Absolutely. Yeah. and we don't realize that our environments whether it's our homes or our offices could be making us sick and people are popping pills to feel better and not looking at their environment. I read on your website that the inner environment can be five times more um, Pollute, like polluted than the outdoor environment. That's exactly well, absolutely. right. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the first thing we're going to share because we're going to talk okay. about five things in your home that are making you sick. And the number one thing is poor indoor air quality. Oh, wow, really? It is. In fact, the EPA actually says it's one of the top five environmental risks or hazards we face today. How is it poor inside? How does it get how, poor? Well, how does it get <laughs> poor? Well, well you know, toxic products that we talked about okay, new carpet, what? new paint, new. Fin um, finishes on flooring, vinyl windows, oh, ca cabinets, right. yeah. which are loaded with formaldehyde dust, dust that's, that's a great time. biological contaminants, yeah. you know, allergens. And so our homes are getting more unhealthy. And they're tightly sealed now with green building yeah. to be energy efficient. But it's trapping in the toxins, and we're breathing in like a cesspool, basically. And absolutely, but we're going to leave you not empty-handed. We're going to show you some solutions, though. Yeah, yeah. One of the first things you can do to address that okay. is to really make sure you're getting a high-efficiency furnace filter how often are you change, changing your furnace filter, Blythe? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> you don't furnace know? Okay. Okay, well, you should right. be sure. Ladies, be What's empowered. Is that the right answer? I don't know. Well, well you're no, way no. ahead of the game. Well, you'd okay. be very, very good. It's actually recommended by the EPA to change it once every three months. Okay. It's very easy to remember because you change it every season, like the okay. spring, the fall, the winter. And don't okay. be intimidated, ladies, because you know what? We can do this, you too. Can do this. <laughs> <laughs> you change your own furnace filter. Yeah, it's, it's not that complicated. It's not, I used to think that, too. That's the man's work, you know. Yeah. But it's literally, it's, you flip the thing open, pull it out, and swap it out. I mean, it's so and easy. They hooked me up. Okay. Well, you are showing I, off. I was good because I did it once a year, every three months. Once, oh, every three months. Wow. It's yeah. a good it's, start. It's better than 41% yeah. of people. But what it's, an inexpensive solution. I can't imagine that thing costs very much money. No, it really doesn't. It's between like, $10 and $25. Okay. Uh, you really want to make sure. We go into great detail in our book, Just Screen It. Yeah. Simple swaps to save your planet and exactly. your health. Right. Mm -hmm. But in a nutshell, what you want to make sure is you're basically, basically it's addressing 90% of the large particles like pet dander, mold, pollen yes. and also you want to make sure it's addressing smoke and smog some of those smaller microscopic particles right. particulates so but that's one option and you, then nature which we love yeah has created the best air filter of all right, right. in the form mm -hmm. of plants right. and you know we all know that plants um, create oxygen mm -hmm. they absorb co2 but a lot of people don't know that NASA did a study. Are you familiar with this? Mm -hmm. Okay, they did a study and they found 50 different house plants mm -hmm. that actually remove chemical vapors and toxic gases from the air. <laughs> and there's yes. a certain, and I noticed you have some of them back here. I knew that. I noticed one behind Erica, the aloe vera's one. I noticed yeah. one back here, the Eureka palm. Yay. I brought a couple of my favorites, the Gerber Daisy. These were $3.99. I mean, this is and really they inexpensive. Help clean the air. They actually absorb chemicals. And vapors, nice. and it's a great housewarming gift. Yes, I'm leaving some with you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you'll have one of my favorites. Yeah, they're they're one of my favorites. And then the spider plant is a great all around. This actually moves formaldehyde. That is such okay. a great idea. Simple yeah, solution, simple. you guys. We're absolutely. Simple and affordable. Well, simple and affordable. <laughs> well, our next step, then we're talking about cleaning our air. Let's talk about cleaning our bathing water. Yes. Okay, people don't realize this, but literally, the water utility company only tests for about a hundred chemicals when there's potentially thousands of chemicals in our water supply. Things like pharmaceutical drugs, arsenic, heavy metals, even rocket fuel. Parasites. So it's crazy, yeah, so even rocket fuel. But what we're gonna focus on- things they put in there on purpose. To <laughs> the well, right. that, that's- Pharmaceuticals even, like show up in our drinking water because it doesn't filter those out, the city water. Yeah. yeah. yeah you're right about that because actually chlorine, typically 98% of homes are typically treated with chlorine that are using city water. Right. It's a disinfectant. 
But unfortunately, chlorine and its byproducts, like trihalomethanes, yeah. are linked to serious illness like cancer, bladder cancer, stomach cancer. I so here's. Don't know what to do with that. Yeah. 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 They really don't know what to do with it, but there's a real simple fix. So you can actually install a shower filter okay. in your home. Very simple concept. Here is the head of the shower. Here's the actual the canister that's holding the cartridge for the shower uh, filter. Another thing ladies can do. Yeah, it's very <laughs> simple. There's no. Do this. <laughs> Men, but ladies, because there's no tools required. No tools oh, at I all. I personally like this tip. No tools. And basically, <laughs> once a year, you're changing this cartridge, putting it back in, and you're having a chlorine free shower experience. And that's important because. Chlorine free, so it definitely takes out the chlorine. It does. I mean, I love a hot shower like anyone else, right. but, but ultimately, when you're taking a hot shower, the chlorine's not only getting to the pores of your skin, it's actually becoming vaporized and you're breathing it in your lungs. And so, a lot of times, people don't feel good when they take a hot shower. It's like an asthmatic trigger. Yeah. So. Oh. But going from but going from clean water <laughs> to clean products, our number three tip on what's actually potentially hurting you in your home okay. is toxic oh, cleaning toxic, toxic cleaning products. Okay, and you know, and part of the reason that's happening, Blythe, is because literally cleaning products are contributing to poor indoor air quality. Yeah. I mean, there, there there was a report that was done that 50% of all serious illness happens from poor indoor air quality and this is contributing to it not not Whoa, these products no. here not these here in fact <laughs> these are the ones we actually <laughs> like right. these are the solutions that we like earth friendly products is an exceptional job of making sure they're using healthier ingredients plant based ingredients yes. they're yeah, not they're doing protected. animal testing on these products right. that you'll like to know yeah. you no know, animal ingredients they're really doing a good job and they're one of the pioneers out there in regards to creating healthy cleaners for us to buy because it can be so complicated. What what do you choose from? Well, you know what, what do you trust? Well, who do you trust? To say natural or plant drives. Yeah, a lot of green washing. So you have yeah, to be careful. A lot of, a lot of green washing. Right. That's a great example. You guys may recognize the Earth Friendly Eco's laundry detergent. This is the number one sell uh, gr uh, green dry laundry, laundry detergent <laughs> in the whole world. Cool. The whole world. Yeah. So right yeah. great example. And these they have a lot of great products. It's Sixty all household products they use for cleaning. So if you can't safeguard your home with these amazing products, or you're on a tight budget, you can make your own. Yay! Yay. She's gonna make We're gonna some recipes I love real to make quick. Our own. Yay! <laughs> and you can make these from ingredients uh -huh. that you already have in your own kitchen. Mm -hmm. So in order to make your own ingredients, you get a Vito mm -hmm. toxic cleaning products. All right, yeah. Vito. 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 No toxic. And, and you know what? It's like, what do you what do you think people should do with them? Because if you throw them in the garbage, they go in the earth. If you that's don't throw them down the toilet or the sink, because then they go into the earth. What do people do with their? Yuck? That's a good question. And you actually take them to your household hazardous waste drop off. All right, if you don't know where one is, look up earth911.org. Put in your zip code and you can find one in your area. Great, earth911.org. Yes. My last pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I was like, I'm not buying any more after this. I know, I'm they're so addicted. Don't be worried about wasting. The, the bleach <laughs> and the white, white, make everything white. Exactly. <laughs> Use don't the baking it. soda. Like yep. she's gonna it's show not you. the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vito. I'm telling you, Vito, so you remember my recipes. Okay. You're going to use vinegar instead okay. of Windex. Okay. All right, yeah. two cups of water, okay. one cup of white distilled vinegar. Okay. Mix it in a spray bottle. Fun. And you can use some of your favorite essential oils mm -hmm. or Blythe's essential That's oils. Right. Our Blythe Raw Body essential oils. <laughs> I wish I would have brought them today. I but, but I love that you're using essential oils in yes. cleaning products because that's what I like to teach people to use. Yeah. You know, it's one of the ways you can use essential oils. Yeah, yeah instead they're of synthetic. They're very disinfectant. They're they very are. antibacterial, antiviral. Yeah, that's what a lot of people don't know, the therapeutic properties. And yeah. also, you know, they smell amazing. They smell amazing, <laughs> so it makes your cleaning so much more aromatic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's vinegar. Okay. E, you're going to use essential oils okay. instead of air freshener. Vinegar, E, okay. E. You can take two um, cups of water, mm -hmm. put in 10 drops of your favorite essential oil. I like rosemary to help pick, perk you up or yeah. lavender to relax. Uh -huh. And spray away. That's easy. Great. Tea is really fun. You're going to use toothpaste okay. instead of silver polish. Really this one surprises. For your silver? For your silver. That's and it, surprising. It works like a dream. Get really? one without baking soda so it doesn't scratch your silver. Okay. That's, that's okay. a good point. Very Just good point. Just rub it on the silver, rinse it, and dry. How'd you figure that out? Um, the uh, trial and error. <laughs> that's <laughs> trial and great. Error. Yeah, that's great. And then, okay. Oh, we're gonna use olive oil okay. instead of furniture polish. Olive okay. oil on your furniture. Olive oil on your furniture. Do a quarter cup of olive oil and a half a teaspoon of lemon or vinegar. You can do. You can interchange. I love this. It works awesome. I use it at home. All Excellent. Right. Okay. So now that we've cleaned up our cleaning products, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna clean up the room that we spend the most time in, which mm -hmm. is. The bedroom. The bedroom. The okay. Bedroom. You know, right now there are over 24 million Americans that suffer from asthma. 
And well, millions more with allergies. You probably know somebody. Sure. I know tons of people with their children especially. And we spent a third of our life in the bedroom. Yeah. And our skin is not only an organ, it's our largest organ. Mm -hmm. So it absorbs whatever goes on it, whether it's shampoo, lotion, shaving cream, or our bedding. Right? I mean, That's we're right. sleeping on this every night. What are we right. sleeping on? What are we sleeping on? Are we sleeping on? <laughs> tell us what we're sleeping on. Are we sleeping? I, I know what we're sleeping on, but you, you tell us what well, we're sleeping people, on because it can be really crazy. Yeah, yeah, some people, most people are sleeping on polyurethane yeah. foam, which is what ma most mattresses are made mm -hmm. of, and that's petroleum derived. Mm -hmm. Or they may be sleeping on polyester, synthetics, materials, and these are the worst materials for your bed. Formaldehyde, yeah. boric acid. Boric acid. I mean, boric acid. Boric acid. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Hello, yes, really. in your bedroom? It's, so the, I, it's the flame retardant that they put in there. Yes, oh, yeah. that's, that's exactly oh, right. And yeah. so I like to call it the five M's of the bedroom, the five M's okay. to avoid. I love and, this. <laughs> I love it. Otherwise, you won't remember. I, I got to have my little acronyms. Okay, guessing it. game, Blake. Okay. okay, the first one, it, it loves to breed in warm, moist conditions. Mold. Mm, good. Mites. Yes, Whoa. mites. Nice. <laughs> yes. Dust mites. Dust mites. Well, she's Dust smart. Mites. She got them all. Dust mites. They're so small, six of them can fit on the end of a pin. Ooh, yeah. And this is how much water we lose a night. No One way. One third of a cup. That's how much we perspire Ooh, at night. That's how much water we lose that's at night. every single night. Wow. And this makes a perfect breeding ground for mold, mildew, moisture, Whoa. mites, Whoa. all of this stuff. Mold, mildew, moisture, moisture, mites. mites. And wow. what's the fifth one? More. Okay. More. More is the most dangerous because that is the chemicals that we find in our bedding. Right. All right. And what it, some of these chemicals include pesticides. I mean, you were just talking about our bodies don't know what to do with these pesticides. Well, it's true. Cotton is a crop. Right? Mm -hmm. People forget it's a crop. Mm -hmm. It's the most heavily sprayed crop in the world. 25% mm -hmm. of the world's insecticides are sprayed on cotton. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have people go, oh, Lisa, I know you're so healthy. I'm going to send you some cotton sheets. You know, I'm like, but are they <laughs> certified <laughs> organic? Are they organic? <laughs> thank you. Because it's thank not you the same. Thank you. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. Unless no. it's certified, I brought a sample here. You want to look for the word organic and you want to look for that third party certification. Oh, right side, right side. Right. Yeah, look for that certification that shows that it is certified organic and it has been tested. I have those. Yes. You know what? These are from Target. And that's what I like. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Target, you know. They are and and affordable. And they're affordable. And so glad to hear that. A pottery barn came out with organic sheets that I got some. I'm so glad to hear that they came out with organic. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about organic linens. It, it is. It's and like it's just a simple go switch. Organic. You yeah. gotta go with organic. Another problem that happens in the bed is formaldehyde. Yuck. Okay, mm -hmm. do you use wrinkle free sheets, easy care, no I iron? Don't, you no. don't? Okay. I know better. <laughs> but no. I throw them on, I'm thinking the wrinkles will fall out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a lead test? We are gonna do a lead test. Oh God, and the so lead test little <laughs> kit over there is to your right, right there, called the lead check, right there. Oh. Real simple oh. test. And the reason why <laughs> the number five thing in our home, the number five thing that's making our home sick is lead. And so we can do some real simple things to test to see. So we still have lead in our home. So we still have lead in our home. We've heard about this for like years now. There's still lead there's in our home. There's still lead. You there know, are. there was a study. I bet there's a lead in my house. My house was built. When was your house 20. built? Oh, it was. Oh, well, okay. So you can do this. I need test. to regrow. You can do Anything this. Anything prior to 1978 was probably, you know, paint was probably used okay. with lead. Yeah. Uh, any furniture, old hand me down cribs prior to 1976 might have a problem. Yeah. All this, you probably heard about the toy. Yeah. Recalls Recall. and recalls and so China. forth. Are they still Imported making to toys with lead now? I mean, do they? Well, they're better? trying not they to, but we're going to double check right now. Okay. Okay. See, they're not okay. supposed to, but they get through. But they get, you know, they well, get of course, through. Okay. from different from China, from, from the, yeah, that they don't have the same kind of regulations okay. that we have. Obviously, yeah. I'm wearing gloves because lead is a neurotoxin. It's not good for us, particularly with children. So, yeah. I know this has lead in it. This <laughs> this is a lead fishing weight, wow. and it's a real simple test you can administer. With this ant, this. Where ampule. do people buy these lead things? You Any can get them at hardware stores. Lowe's, Home Depot, very, you know, okay. so exactly. forth. And what we're doing is I'm actually squirting this liquid out of the ampule, and I'm rubbing it against the item that I'm testing. I'm trying not to spill on the countertop. Okay, I don't want to spill on it. I'm carefully angling this not to. Okay, because we know lead's going to show up. And if it shows red. Yeah. There's lead. There's lead. Okay. Okay. No, there, there, okay. okay. So there is. Lead is it's red. showing is lead. Is red? Lead is red. Yeah. Okay. Red. We're going to carefully put this on the side. We're going to dispose of this later properly. Okay. Right. And then we have another test. We have this plastic figure, mm -hmm. which I know was painted and was imported. Okay. okay. And so I have no idea if this actually has lead on it. Hopefully not. Oh, so you haven't pre-checked this. We I did pre not pre-check. This is live on Blythe. Yeah. Raw, but you be raw. Yeah, hold it up. Okay. Okay, we're gonna hold it up. Okay. I'm gonna test this. I know this has been pre-painted, 
We're gonna go right here. And these tests are very inexpensive. Okay. So anybody who's concerned, whether it's your kids' toys or paint or hand-me-down cribs, you can buy these and have them on hand at home. Okay, uh, at any Home Depot, okay. any, yeah. any sort of hardware store, they can get those. Exactly. Okay. okay. Yep. So basically, so I'm wearing gloves so I spilled on myself mm -hmm. here. You, uh, it looks like it's just white, okay? So mm -hmm. more than likely, there's probably not lead on this toy. So Little check the furniture, check the toys, the jewelry, that's right. anything. Anything, lunch boxes lunch are shown box. to have lead. Oh yeah, God. it can mm -hmm. be plastics, it can be painted wood. Mm -hmm. And this the other thing I was- such a great note. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a simple thing. These yeah, are all affordable. Simple. Literally $20 for a pack of eight swabs. Great. Usually, yeah. And so. the other thing I was gonna tell you about lead is, um, another way we bring it into our homes is from the bottom of our shoes. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. they had a study at the University of Arizona, mm -hmm. and they found household dust. 60% um, of household dust is tracked in from the bottom of our shoes, mm. and they found lead and arsenic. So, you're, you know, we're saying lead was banned mm. from paint in 78. How is it still getting in our right. home? how is this happening? Take yeah. your shoes off at the door. That's yes. right. Good That's job, right. right. <laughs> That's what yeah, we were going right. to say. Right. Take your shoes off. And no take you better shoes when you leave. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. And in Hawaii and Japan, That's what they, you know, that's yeah. customary. Yeah. Right. It's such a simple habit to get That's into. not the only thing, too. You had mentioned pesticides getting into our systems and into our fats. The same thing goes with pesticides. I mean, they, they did a study on DDT. Yeah. It's a pesticide that was banned. 25 long years ago. Yeah, a long right. time ago. And 20 years after it was banned, they took 550 homes, and they found that 40% still had remnants of the DDD pe DDT pesticide in the carpeting of their home. So you have to be proactive, and you're Pesticides doing such a great job here of making away. people aware no, of what to look for. Thanks, Ron. I you really are. appreciate that. That you know, pesticides never go away, and that's another thing. When we buy organic, we're contributing to goodness from here on out. If we buy conventional and they use pesticides, like you guys said, those pesticides they stay in the mm. water, they stay in the earth, they stay in the air. Yeah. I mean, how they buy that's unbelievable they, yeah. a pesticide that was banned 25 years ago is like oh, still crazy. found in home. They're finding exactly. arsenic like in organic rice baby food yeah. because oh, it was I just used as a that. pesticide. Yeah. Back in the day. Right. Still in the These things that are supposed to be making our life convenient aren't. They're causing problems for the future generations. For the future generations, yeah. right. Um, please look at Just Green It, Ron and Lisa's book. It's amazing, I'm sure. There's a myriad of hundreds of more things that you can do in the home um, besides these five. RonandLisa.com. Anything else that you guys like to say in closing? Well, we'd like to say thank you for, for <laughs> watching this segment today, and thank you for having us Thank live. you for we having us. Really you're doing it. a great awesome. job. Oh, thank you. And, thank you. Uh, Ron and I are newly into the raw food ourselves, and we already found huge benefits. Oh, we so. are full of energy. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell? Right. <laughs>